Harold and pacing, speaking part, goes right out looking for the lead. Caviar Jackson hustles right out between horses on the rail. On the attack, around the turn, they head of the back stretch. On the attack, on the attack early, has Zelly to one. Up on the outside, speaking part. There's a racing second. They wheel into the back lane. Caviar Jackson is settled in racing in early third. Then comes exporter fourth. Further back, best wins is fifth. Yankee Shadow six. Over there, seven. Standish Hanover. A magical day of the opening quarter, 26 and one fifth. They go barreling through that far turn the first time. On the attack, on the front end, all the length and three quarters. Into the stretch they come. Speaking part is sitting second. Right there, look at him over third, Caviar Jackson. They head on down to the halfway point of the race. It's exporter racing. Four of in their fifth is best wins. Further back is Yankee Shadow outside Standish Hanover. What magical D that half. Look at that timer, 53 and three. Around the clubhouse turn they go. And Walter Case is opening the valves on on the attack. He's moving away from all of them. They're into the back stretch now. Going down to the three quarter mile mark. Caviar Jackson outside racing second off the rail. Exporter is third along the outside. Best wins, fading back badly on the inside. Speaking part, they're at the three quarters. Watch the timer. 121 and two. They're on the turn, coming home in a record clip in this, the Miller Lite Cleveland Classic Second Division. It's on the attack. He's out there in absolute full command. Further back, they battle for place. It's Caviar Jackson now coming for wide outside. His Standish Hanover between horses, exporter in the lane, on a drive for the wire. Walter Case Jr. on the attack. Ladies and gentlemen, watch the timer. He's coming home for the money and the time in 151. And ladies and gentlemen, that ties the all-time track record here at Northfield Park. Twelfth annual Miller Lite Cleveland Classic Second Division. A few notes about that time. Indeed, it does tie the all-time track record here at Northfield Park. It is, of course, a new Miller Lite Cleveland Classic record, eclipsing the old mark of 51 and 4, shared by Falcons Future and Life Sign. It also ties a record which has stood since 1985. Falcon Silster at the Delaware, Ohio Fair, 151. That 151 for a three-year-old pacing colt ties Falcon Silster's mark, which has stood under that category since 1985. Our congratulations to Walter Case Jr. and the connections of On the Attack, including, of course, Kelly O'Donnell and Martin Scharf. The result is official. And in the winner's circle, number one on the attack, pacing that mile in, 151. That's a new lifetime best for on the attack. He's just posted the 12th victory of his young racing career. He is now 12 for 13. Is a son of Jay Lobel, out of panic attack by masquerade. Owned by Martin Sharp, Lawrence, New York. Trained by Kelly O'Donnell, driven tonight by Mr. Walter Case, Jr. Trackside to make the trophy presentation to on the attack from the Miller Brewing Company Vice President Tom Cansabria, accompanied by sales managers Rayan Saliola and Lou Yovanovich from Tremonti Distributing, Mr. Jack Tremonti Jr., and on behalf of Northfield Park Associates, President Myron Charna. On the attack, Mark Ford, his usual trainer, sent him to Kelly O'Donnell this week, so Kelly O'Donnell was down in the program, and of course, Walter Case, who just drove him. Mark, uh, first off, unbelievable mile, 151 flat. This horse proved he belongs last week by winning the uh, the final up at Montreal, but this on a half mile is just stunning. Well, he, he's a, got a tremendous turn of speed, and I guess he got to touch the bike a little bit tonight. It was a bit of a runaway, but... Uh, uh, <laughs> He's got a, he's a serious horse if we can just keep him calmed down and, and uh, we get a lot of money to race for. I just hope uh, he lasts for a couple more months here. Now this is a lightning striking twice in the same place for you and Martin Scharf. You purchased Gallo Blue Chip 
at the beginning of, of last season, or basically you had him at the end of the two-year-old's uh, campaign right in there. But he ended up going on to Horse of the Year honors after winning this same race a year ago. How do you compare him to uh, On the Attack? Well, he's a very fast horse, and like I said, he's got a tremendous turn of speed, but he's got a way to go before uh, he's got also he's got a, a tough act to follow there. So I don't know. You know, it's awful early in the year, and we'll just see how things uh, work out. But uh, <laughs> unbelievable. I'm, I'm, I'm speechless myself. Obviously, you're on to Toronto next week for the eliminations of the North American Cup. You'll have uh, Better's Delight and others waiting for you up there. I don't know. We'll see how he comes out of it, and we'll see. You know, we might uh, we might go to Toronto. We might not. We, you know, the Meadowlands space is just a few weeks away, and he's been going quite a lot, long while now. So we're 50-50 whether we're going to Toronto. So we'll wait till the middle of the week to decide. Okay, thanks again for coming up. Mark Ford's basically his fourth Cleveland Classic, a Miller Lite Cleveland Classic win in the last three years. Can I speak to Walter Case, still trying to catch his breath? To steal a line from a guy I used to drive against, Hervé Filion, looked like you were just a passenger behind that one, my friend. Yeah, he was a little wild tonight. He got uh, hit in the bike getting out of there, and uh, I didn't really want to go that fast to half with him, but I had no choice. Uh, I was just sitting there trying to stay on the bike. He took me for a fast ride. Now, in the first turn, you were a little worried uh, going into the race. That was the, if you got through there, you felt like you could win it. Looked like you babied him a little bit through there, but still, 26 and 1, he was motoring. Yeah, I was a little concerned the first turn might bite him and uh, he might make a mistake. The, so I was a little careful with him the first turn, but from there he just took off. But Gallo Blue Chip, who I raced for Mark last year, the horse of the year, uh, the difference between these two, this horse has got probably as much speed, but he hasn't got the manners yet. But I'm sure if Mark, uh, he's a good, great trainer, he can get, you know, he can uh, re-rig him and get him calmed down. But that's why Gallo is a great horse, because when he gets the lead, he relaxes. Uh, this horse hasn't learned to relax yet, and uh, if he's going to beat some of the better horses next week up in Canada, he's going to have to learn to relax. Now, obviously, you said you didn't mean to go to the half in 53 or three quarters and 121 and two fractions. We have never seen here in the 40-some uh, year history of the track. Did you know you were uh, headed towards a uh, world record type mile? Uh, I know he was smoking. He was flying. Uh, I didn't want to shut his air off like I did with Oaks and Forcer earlier. Uh, unfortunately, he choked down, and uh, so... This horse was pulling me so hard, I just let him go because, uh, I just like I said, I didn't want to choke him. And I knew the horses behind me were going to get tired just following. All right. Well, congratulations once again to Walter Case, Mark Ford, of course, catch trainer Kelly O'Donnell this week, and, uh, of course, Martin Scharf. Uh, they swept the uh, Miller Lite Cleveland Classic last year, and they get another division this year with the unbelievably impressive on the attack.